friendly reminder, friendly reminder, no coffee break at the chateau for volunteers and interns. My name is Anna. I'm an English former fashion and textile designer. I moved to Paris, age 23, to work for the French couture house Bauman, and stayed for the croissants, the wine, and of course for Philip, a filmmaker from the South Tyrolean Alps. After 10 amazing years, getting married, buying and renovating two homes, and having two babies, we decided city life was no longer for us. Philip had been dreaming of buying a chateau since the day we met, and finally convinced me to start looking. We came to visit Chateau gonville sur en fleur Despite being in quite poor condition and needing a complete renovation, we immediately fell in love. In May 2019, we got the keys to the chateau, our new home. With a tight budget, we had no choice but to do most of the renovations by ourselves. We're learning new skills as we go, building muscles we never knew we had, and getting creative to make the chateau as personal as possible whilst preserving its historic features. It's all part of this crazy family adventure and we wouldn't change it for anything. I'm afraid our vlogs are getting a little bit repetitive. I'm pretty sure you know where I'm heading to. I need to pick up Benoit, our carpenter. And when he called me this morning, he was grumpy. He mumbled something about precision tools he left at my house. In my opinion, he's just a bit upset these days because he still didn't manage to pass the test to get back his... Ah, uh, you know what? I promised him not to speak about it anymore. So let's speak about something different. Road safety, for instance. Did you know that in France, streets have speed limits? On this road, for instance, in between my home and Benoit's home, it's 80 kilometers an hour. So if you go faster several times and you get caught, you end up losing your points. And when you have no more points left, they take away your driving license and you have to wait a couple of months and pass the test. And then you get it back if you manage to pass the test. Do I know somebody who lost a driving license like this? I don't think so. On a deux planches pour faire le lit. Oui. Et une planche pour faire la tête de lit. Il ne reste plus que les plantes. Tasso, ça, ça va être bon. CP, c'est à l'atelier. CP, c'est à l'atelier. Tu sais, il y a des outils pour ça. Ah non, pour un menuisier charpentier, c'est comme ça que ça s'affûte un crayon. Ouais. Ça te dérange si moi je filme et je te laisse faire la menuiserie I didn't do very well with the camera, that's for it. So, today we are building a bed for the first guest room and Benoit said that we can do it in one afternoon. Wait a little verification. Ok, 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 okay c'est bon, c'est bon, c'est bon. Tu me dis hein, si ça a besoin de conseils en mesure. Donc là, on a tout tracé ensemble. Et on est, et on est prêt pour euh, la prochaine étape. Très bien. J'adore, c'est la vraie menuiserie. Comme, comme, comme j'aime la pratiquer. Ok, 
pourquoi tu fais ça Tu vois, pour équilibrer. De toute façon, ce que là, ça resserre et que les assemblages soient corrects. Room. and last week I was able to do a lot of sanding and doing a lot of repairs to the ceiling, filling a lot of cracks. Here I had to do a lot of filling. This is a very old piece of 18th century panelling. There was a lot of wood chipping and a lot of big cracks and now I'm just going to sand it down. Then I can start priming and priming the ceiling. So yeah, it's exciting because I hate all the preparation. It takes forever to do. But finally, we're getting to the stage where we can start painting and it starts to sort of feel more clean and come together. I think I might have picked the short straw. I might need a shower. Benoît, je vois que tu as avancé. Oui. Oui. Donc tu as bien internalisé mes instructions et tu les as exécutées. Complètement, complètement. C'est marrant, le lit fait 1m60 et pourtant, ça te... Ça, ça, tu vois <rire> Ça y est, t'es à nouveau désagréable. <rire> non, mais non. Si, si, je, je vois bien. Tu, moi aussi, j'ai appris à faire ça maintenant. Ouais, mais euh, je crois que les lignes droites, tu connais pas. <rire> t'as un problème avec les lignes droites, non You've done a lot whilst we were working at Benoît's workshop. <laughs> yeah, I had to shake it off earlier because I was absolutely covered. Oh. Yeah, so I've now sanded that little toilet space over there and I've primed the ceiling. Perfect. So yeah, I'm getting, I'm getting that. Next is going to prime in, the, in there and prime the door. And once Benoit's finished doing all the little pieces, I can start priming the walls. So that's really exciting because I think it's really exciting when you get to put colour on. Because then we'll start to feel how it's going to look when it's finished. But already it looks much cleaner, just even with the primer on the ceiling, don't you think? Oh, it does, definitely. Nobody will ever know that there used to be a trench. <laughs> I think it turned out really well and I'm happy we did it like this. Yeah, I think so. I think it was definitely worth making that change. Yeah. Why are these cables still hanging out like this? Good question. Why are they? I will take care of that. Yeah? Yeah. Now I'm going to prime the door and I'm going to prime in that now. And are we going to paint the wood as well? I think so, no? Yes, I think so too. It's not a beautiful wood, it's just a pine. Yeah. But we'll keep these little handles, they're super cute. Philip, did you notice I've protected the floor in here? Perfect. Because your idea of protection is like lying, laying down the plastic and just kind of hoping for the best, I noticed. Yes, because I'm not good in, you know, putting sticky tape on because it's like really long and annoying and I don't like doing it, so I don't do it. But I have a confession. Yes. I ran out of masking tape, so I used a bit of your electric tape. That's not electric tape. I don't know what it is, this orange tape. It's called expensive tape. Yeah, the expensive tape. The expensive well, tape. Also, No, no, c'était prévu de les enlever. Oui. Oui. Ça, ouais. <laughs> wow, super! Voilà. C'était vite. Oui, mais on était à deux. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure for that you have to lock. À deux? Oui. Ah bon? Oui, oui, on était à deux. Ah, je pas vu le deuxième. So now I can take the measurements that I need to order my foam and then I'll have everything I need to upholster it. I need 59 by... Do you want a hand with measuring in it? I don't need any hand from you, thanks. Why does nobody need my help today? Oh, I don't know. 
It's kind of sad that you're gonna cover this. It looks quite nice as it is, doesn't it? <laughs> no. No, it doesn't look nice. I mean, it's a nice it's frame. Well made, but uh, the wood isn't something special. I don't think it will be much nicer when it's a poster Well, luckily Benoit is not here to hear that. Because he insisted in making it really nice, even though I said it's going to be covered. So he said, yeah, but we still have to sand it and still have to, you know, make it perfect. Yeah. Because yeah. he likes to work properly. Yeah. Do things well. Yeah. Right. Philip, what are you doing? I'm sorting out the electrics for our first guest room whilst you are painting and priming and Bill is making noise outside. <laughs> I'm doing the electrics. It's all go here today, isn't it? Yeah, it's good good progress. I think we we almost finished this room. It's ready to paint by tomorrow. Yeah, that's good. Yeah. Oh! Really happy. And what is this? Because there's like loads of cables just poking out. This is where the electricity comes to, to all the lights and it will, it's distributed in here. So it's going to be hidden. That's what we call in German a Kabel Salat. What is that? A cable salad. Cable salad. Yeah. Careful. You sound weird. Have you been drinking again? What? Have you been drinking again? What? Have you been drinking again? What type of paint are you using, Ella? I use that one. White paint. White paint. What is it, Ella? It's a primer. It's a primer. A primer. It's a primer. No more. Joyous anniversary. Joyous anniversary. Joyous anniversary. Voilà, il faut faire une, une, comment tu dis, wish, une sweat, un vœu, un vœu, voilà. Okay. Okay. Fais comme ça. Bon, Nathan. Bravo. Quel âge 18 ans. Donc tu es responsable de tes actes. Et c'est même pas soufflé. Et ça, un petit cadeau. Je pense que tu vas trouver Yuti euh, pour ton avenir. Le champagne surtout. Ouais. <rire> Et là, c'est fortement symbolique ce que tu vas recevoir. Ah. C'est bel couteau. Alors, c'est symbolique pas dans le sens où tu pourrais imaginer. C'est pas pour me tuer. C'est parce que Nathan, il va faire un apprentissage et il va commencer la semaine prochaine. Ouais, c'est ça, ça. En cuisine. Ouais, il va lâchement nous quitter. Et je comprends pas pourquoi, parce qu'on a tellement bien traité. Ouais. Et euh, il va commencer une nouvelle vie dans une cuisine. Et on lui donne 2-3 ans pour se former avant de revenir ici comme, Alors, je... comme cuisinier chef pour le restaurant <rire> aux fleurs. Surtout prévenir les gens, ne, ne surtout pas aller au restaurant à aux fleurs dans l'immédiat. Ah, c'est Nathan. Non. <rire> Because euh, Nathan va pré préparer ah. à manger, c'est dangereux. <rire> Attends. Ah. Voilà, attention, ça coupe bien. Hein. Ouais, j'ai essayé, ça marche. Ça marche. <rire> Et, et maintenant ça suffit, Nathan, pose ça et retourne au travail. Rends-le, oh c'était pour les clients, c'est pas pour lui. C'est pas pour lui. Prends la bouteille de champagne, tu la remets dans le frigo s'il te plaît. Il n'y a rien de mieux d'affaire hein, le jour d'un anniversaire, de passer la journée à l'extérieur, même s'il pleut un peu, mais c'est pas grave. Ok. Voilà. Qu'est-ce que t'attends I am not happy this morning. I showed Philip all the sanding I'd been doing yesterday and then he checked and realized that it had needed an extra layer. So basically he replastered the little bathroom here when he came back yesterday, which means I did all that sanding yesterday for nothing. And I'm gonna have to resand it again today before I can prime it. So very annoyed, but that's just gonna be how it is. And at least they have finished doing, you can see here, um, can you see here? There we go. You can see here they've finished um, covering up some of the cables here. So now that's all ready to be primed and 
It's looking much neater and tidier. And they even managed, I'm really happy because there was a problem with this obviously very old cupboard door in that it wasn't shutting properly. And they came up with this really genius solution. So they um, screwed a piece of wood and sort of forced it to be straight again. So I'm really happy because that is gonna be the toilet behind there. So now it's gonna shut properly. So today, finish sanding in here, start doing the top coat on the ceiling, and I'm really hoping to be able to start doing the tinted primer on the walls today. Fingers crossed. <laughs> in three weeks we will have our first guests in our fourth guest room so one of the most urgent things for me to do now is to restore the cast iron rolled up bath that we bought a couple of months ago I have a certain expertise in restoring a cast iron bath because when we bought the chateau there was a really beautiful cast iron bath here and we used it in our green room and I didn't restore it only once but twice because the first time I completely failed so this time I hope I don't make the same mistakes but first of all I need to get it out of here I literally just lost an hour looking for that rolly thing to move the bath from here in the other room. Since that's all cleaned the tool room, I can't find a thing. Now everything is like in its shelves and one thing next to the other. And, and the funny thing is this wasn't even in the room that Nathan cleaned. That's so typically Nathan. It's so heavy that bath. Would have been so much easier to ask Anna, who's next door, to help me. But then you wouldn't have seen how strong I am. Oh no. Oh. I wanted to work in here on the bath, but I could turn it around or take off the legs and then bring it in, take the legs on again. And I think I'm going to work in the hallway. It's not ideal because it's a bit tight. Yeah, it's kind of suboptimal filming conditions, but I don't have a choice. I don't even try to do this without a paint stripper. Before I'm sanding this, I apply a generous layer of this product. It's not a nice feeling to get this product on your fingers. I used it a lot last year and at the end I had really, really red hands. I'm sure there must be some sort of protective equipment for your fingers. I'm sure. I need to go out there and research a bit for next time. It's good how it just peels off. It's also really smelly. I think I need to open the windows. I feel strangely happy right now. Like, really happy, happy, happy. And I don't think that's a good sign. I know you're thinking, Philip, there's an easy way to protect your skin and your lungs. But unfortunately these days, Nato only works in the morning. And it's afternoon already and he left. Philip. Oh. You should be wearing a mask and some glasses. <laughs> It looks nice, doesn't it? It's going to look great. Much better. Yeah. And I think this, this thing works wonders. It's, it makes you happy. I don't think it's supposed to do that to you. It's reasonably smooth, but I don't think it's smooth enough. Couldn't we say this is a style like a shabby chic or something? No, I, I don't think so. I think it should be well done. Uh, 
so the thick layer of blue paint is gone and the red legs as well. And now with the circus theme color scheme gone, it starts looking much better. Philip, your mask? I just read you don't need one when you have the vaccine. Okay, okay. These have been siliconed in place, but I quite like it. So I hope that I can take this off without breaking it and then apply it again. Oh, that was easy. Good. We should be able to restore this one. I think it's, I think it's good, very good. It's moving, it's coming. Nice. You can get new ones, but the new ones, they have a slightly smaller diameter. I think some, sometimes in the history, the standard changed and it was impossible for me to find larger ones like these for the other bars. So I managed a way to work with a smaller one, but it's much easier to apply the original one. And I think I rescued this one, so I'm happy. This is made out of lead, lead, bly, lead. I think it's called lead. And this is not really good. If you have pipes like this in a house and you will have some of these when you buy an old house in France and probably elsewhere, you need to change them because if you have drinking water, it can get contaminated and it might be a problem over time if you drink that for many, many years. But this is just for the wastewater and it has the perfect size and it works with these pieces here. So if I manage to clean it, then I might as well keep it. Not for saving money because I already bought a kit in case it doesn't work, but because it's compatible with the original pieces of that bath. There's a little dent on the side of the bath and before I can do anything, I need to fill it. And I'm going to use some polyester car filler for that. You have a hardener and a resin and the best way to mix it is obviously with a pen and a screwdriver. Despite my usual aversion of reading instructions, I decided this time to go for it. Because last time I used this product, I made a rather big mistake, which meant that I had to do it twice. It comes in every language, also German, that's handy. Oxalsäure. Cleaning agent for bathtub cleaning before refinishing process. Based on oxalic acids. Don't drink it, don't give it to children, not even to your own, and use eye protection. All right. <laughs> done. So to neutralize the cleaning acid, I use some baking soda. So I got some fresh water and I add some generous quantity of baking soda. Another pro tip, if you're working with acids or other poisonous substances and you need a container for your water, look in your partner's patisserie cupboard. It's always a chance to find something nice and clean and big enough. I decided against my usual habits to protect the floor and I read instructions this time. Yeah. So Philip? 10 minutes, 10 minutes of staring. Do you remember last time? Of staring or stirring? St what is it? Staring. Stirring. Stirring. Yeah. Stirring. 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 What did I say? Stirring. Stirring. Okay. So you have to stir that for 10 minutes. Do you remember last time when I did this, um, I had a problem with the other bath. Mm -hmm. And 
I poured the material on the, into the bath and it just didn't dry. And I called the company and said, your product doesn't work. It doesn't dry, it never hardens. And they asked me, how long did you stare? And I said, very long, because in instructions it says 10 minutes. Yeah. And she said, did you stare for 10 minutes? And I said, well, not 10 minutes. Because I thought 10 minutes was a metaphor for a very long time. <laughs> but actually, it's literally 10 minutes that you have to stare this. And so I had to do it all over again. So this time, have you put the timer on? No, but I can, in my head, 10 minutes is like... Philip. 10 minutes. No, seriously, have you put the timer on? No. Right, get the timer. You're a nightmare. Is there a timer on my phone? Yes. Go on the clock. The clock. Clock. And then? Timer. timer. And, and then 10, 10 seconds. No, minutes. 10 minutes. Yeah? But I've done already two, so... Well, yeah, but you I cancel it, I make a new one, I make an eight minute. Yeah, but you don't know if you've actually been... Yeah, I feel it, I have that, I feel it. You instinct. are a nightmare. Instinct, I have my instincts. Mm. Staring instincts. Is it 10 minutes already? No, three minutes. Suffer. This is to suffer with me. This is gonna be a 10 minute staring section. Staring section. Staring, not staring. This is staring. Staring or stirring? This is staring. Staring. And that's stirring. That sounds exactly the same to me. If you look at me. I'm staring. Yeah. And now I'm stirring. <laughs> it's not easy. I still don't believe it really means 10 minutes. I think it really means 10 minutes. Look, if, I, if it was my company, I would write like longer. So to be sure that people stick to it. <laughs> because it can't be just me who would interpret this as a very long time instead of real 10 minutes. So I think there's probably the real amount of time necessary is five minutes. And to be sure that all the people who are like me would do a good job, they say 10 minutes. Last time we, you ruined your shoes, so we've improvised and put some bin bags on your shoes this time. Yeah. So each time we're getting better. Hopefully. Will you be a nice and friendly as we say it in anthropology, neutral observer, or will you be you when you're filming me? I will be me. Okay, so I need to be prepared for, for a war. You need to be prepared for me to tell you what to do. Okay. Because I do, that's, you know, I need to do that. <laughs> you, can't, you can't help yourself. I can't help. Okay. I'm, I'm really nervous. I'm not confident at all because... No, I know. Me neither. Is, is the bath clean? <laughs> I think so. Well, you, you were responsible for that, Philip. The difficulty is this product is self-leveling, but that only works, that's in my experience, at the very beginning. So if you mess it up, then it doesn't self-level as nicely as it does at the very beginning. So, so you need to get the <laughs> pour perfect. Is that yeah, it's, it's a, you need a perfect pour and then, yeah, hopefully no dirt comes in or... Okay. Yeah. I think, I think you've done enough stirring now, Philip. <sighs> I'm feeling a bit nervous. Yes, me too. This is so stressful. Oh, Philip. That's perfect. I'm not it, confident. It looks, it looks almost finished. Oh yeah, it looks great. <laughs> oh my goodness. What have you done? What? What have you done? That's how it is. How would you do that differently? It looks... <laughs> looks like some modern art. Oh my goodness. I am not confident about this, Philip, sorry. I don't, also don't think it really helps that you don't have enough room to move around, no? No, but that was the best possible place we had. But then it's... Was there this much coming off it last time? Yes. It's just at the beginning you always think, oh, I don't have enough, but actually it starts collecting later on the, on the floor. Yeah. On the bottom of the bath and then, and the secret is to stay calm. Mm -hmm. I'm so nervous. What are you... Do they say how the technique for doing that scrapey thing? Yes. No, you're kind just freestyling. No. 
and then you use the dryer to keep it running, basically. Are you sure that it's necessary to keep doing this? Well, I think I so. I kind of feel like that that's making it worse. Leave it. I think so. Are you going to try with the air gun again? I think it looks already perfect. The corners look really nice and it's a matter of perspective. If you go far away into this room from afar, it looks perfect. Yeah, it looks perfect. You see. So the problem is, the problem here is here. So we hope that this will self-level. I don't know. I'm not 100% happy. I'm not completely in despair, but I'm also not 100% convinced that I think it could be better. Anna left. She couldn't bear seeing me, what we call in German, verschlimmbessern, the bath. Improving things towards a worse state than before. But actually, I think my insistence paid off pretty good. But man, was that stressful. And having coach Anna didn't help either. Now we need to see how this product settles. If it flattens out, perfect. If not, I can always sand it a little bit. It shouldn't be necessary, but I had to do it last time as well. I'm by no way an expert and maybe a few out there have been doing this before and have had a better result and realized what I have been doing wrong, I would be happy to learn about it in the comments. And without any doubt, this was the single most stressful thing I've done in the process of renovating the chateau. And I would not have done it again, wasn't it for the nice result you can achieve with this product. This is a bit of a sad moment because it is Nathan's last week here at the chateau as a volunteer. However, according to his very strict contract, he still owes us one French lesson. So Nathan, C'est ta dernière euh, leçon de français que tu vas donner à, aux abonnés. And he has a message for us. Tu as décidé de nous quitter. Mm. Mais... Mais le travail d'ici va déjà me manquer. Le travail lui manque déjà. Nulle part ailleurs, tu auras... La même satisfaction du travail. La même satisfaction du travail. Cependant, tu t'engages solennellement... À venir une fois par semaine pour tondre la pelouse et donner des cours de français. Tondre la pelouse et donner des cours de français. Tu l'as dit à tout le monde, devant tout le monde. Et c'est promis. Et c'est promis. If you enjoyed this episode, don't forget to subscribe and hit the like button. For exclusive videos and behind the scenes updates, have a look at our Patreon page. Thank you so much for watching.